Hi guys, Roman Stylus here, bringing you a game review of Quackshot for the Sega Mega Drive. This game was created during a time when Sega made a number of games based on Disney characters. Globetrotting around the world with Donald Duck always brings a smile to my face, and this game does a great job of capturing the Disney spirit in a fun action platformer. Well, I hope you enjoy this review of Quackshot. Quackshot is a platformer released for the Sega Mega Drive in 1991, developed and published by Sega, starring Donald Duck and his three nephews, Huey, Dewey and Louie, as treasure hunters. The game follows Donald Duck as he finds the treasure map from King Garusia, the old ruler of the Great Duck Kingdom, in one of Uncle Scrooge's books, and sets out on an adventure to find the treasure. The game features a number of locations, including Duckburg, Mexico, Transylvania and Egypt, where Donald travels to in order to find pieces of the treasure map. The player as Donald ventures through a variety of side-scrolling levels, with each level usually being divided into an overland part and a dungeon, such as the Maharaja's Palace or the Temple of the Great Duck Treasure. The player is allowed to choose the order in which they tackle each level, However, various obstacles prevent the player from entering the dungeons outside of a specific order. For instance, Donald needs certain upgrades in his arsenal in order to scale walls, and so the player has to travel to another level in order to acquire said upgrade. In addition, some levels provide the player with vital clues which solve puzzles needed to progress in later sections. In my opinion, this gave the game a layer of strategy which forced you to use your head in order to figure out puzzles and items needed to progress through the game. I always appreciate games that encourage people to think of creative solutions to problems instead of just holding them by the hand, but that's just me. Once Donald has completed the overland section of a level, he can call his biplane in order to travel to the next location. If the player chooses to return to that level, they will arrive at the dungeon entrance of that area. Donald is armed with a special gun that can shoot plungers, popcorn or bubblegum. Donald has unlimited plungers and can collect popcorn and bubblegum which are scattered throughout the levels. The plunger can be upgraded to act as a temporary platform to climb walls or travel large distances by sticking onto passing birds. This being a Disney game, numerous characters from the Disney universe make an appearance, including Goofy, Donald's nemesis Pete, Daisy Duck, Scrooge McDuck and of course Mickey Mouse. For the most part, this is a standard 90s platformer, but because it uses the Disney license, it becomes so much more. Disney gives this game a level of charm that can't be duplicated in other generic platformers. Take for example Donald's gun that shoots plungers, bubblegum and popcorn. What other license would allow a game to do this? Sega uses the Disney license incredibly well here, creating a simple Indiana Jones-esque globe-jotting adventure featuring a beloved Disney character. The graphics are very colourful and each level has a unique look, from the arid deserts of Mexico to the dark and eerie castle of Transylvania. Everything is well textured and shows off the graphical capabilities of the Mega Drive. The music in this game, composed by Cameo Studio, is a joy to listen to, complementing the levels and setting the mood for each part of the game. My particular favourite to listen to is the background music for Duckburg. The melody is so simple and I could find myself humming that tune for days on end. Music can make or break a game, and the music here captures the spirit of Disney. Quackshot was part of a series of games that Sega of Japan produced for the Mega Drive, based on Walt Disney characters. A series that included Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse, and World of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, as well as Quackshot's 8-bit counterpart The Lucky Dime Caper, released for the Sega Master System and Game Gear. A number of years later, Quackshot was converted for the Sega Saturn, and released together with Castle of Illusion in Japan only, as part of the Sega Ages series in 1998, although the game was a straight conversion with no substantial changes. Quackshot is one of my favourite Mega Drive games, and my first memory of playing it was actually in school, when a friend of mine had brought in the game. I'm not sure why he was allowed to bring it in, but I think because the game had a number of real world locations, that it would help us with geography or something like that. Whatever the reason, I was glad he brought it in, as this was the first game along with Sonic 2 that I bought when I got a Mega Drive of my own. Though Quackshot doesn't offer much in terms of replay value, I would find myself coming back to it again and again over the years, it's just that compelling. I couldn't really find anything wrong with this game, it's incredibly charming. There's something about Disney games that always makes me smile, and I would easily recommend this game. If you have an old Mega Drive collecting dust somewhere, get yourself a copy of Quackshot, slam in that cartridge, and enjoy this fantastic game. Well, that was my review of Quackshot. If you liked what you saw, please leave a comment in the section below, as I'd like to hear your opinions on this game. Rate this video, and visit my channel for more gaming videos.
Until next time, peace out guys.